Welcome to the NetSuite Customers Upload Training Session. This is part of the process when we do a NetSuite implementation and we actually have to upload GL information, customer information, employee information, and vendors information. And because we've done so many of these migrations, we've made lots of mistakes, so we want to share it with you and show you the right sequence because it's actually very important. So we'll review the data migration process, the list that you're going to upload, and then dive into specifics on the customers, including a demo of the NetSuite login. So the data migration process has five steps. Identify the data to be migrated, prepare the CSV file, upload data in NetSuite, resolve the issues, and validate the data. And this process repeats as often as needed. Now our goal is to reduce the number of times that you have to repeat this process because of errors, because you'll find out it becomes very tedious to troubleshoot errors. So here are the five types of list or items that you would upload. There's actually more, but the basic skeleton of it, you start with your chart of accounts because that's the foundation of everything. Then we upload the list of employees, then we upload the list of customers, then the vendors, and then fixed assets. And you see the dotted line because these types of uploads, the employees, customers, and vendors are very similar to each other. Very different from the chart of accounts and fixed assets is completely different and we'll cover that separately. So in the customer list, what are the types of fields that we can upload? Here are just three examples of the customers, it could be the subsidiary, the address, and the customers could be Tesla. Subsidiary, you notice it has an asterisk next to it. This is a mandatory field if you configure it that way. So let me explain. During the configuration process, you can set certain fields to be mandatory. And if you mark that box mandatory, anytime you're uploading information, the subsidiary field has to be there. And sometimes if people aren't aware of it, you could do the upload. It has everything but that subsidiary. If that subsidiary is blank or you don't even have that column, you will get an error message and it will get rejected. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you an example of how this upload happens within NetSuite itself. To upload customer data, go to Setup, Import, Export, Import CSV records. Import type is relationships. Record type is customers only. Choose your customer file to upload. Choose add and click next. Choose customer address and then customer address one and then choose one or address one and click OK. Now choose customer address city, choose customer address zip, choose address one equal to address one. Choose city equal to city. Choose zip equal to zip. Click the pencil icon next to country and choose US or United States. Click the pencil icon next to priority and type in any number, for example, 50. Click the pencil icon next to individual and choose no. Click the pencil icon for subsidiaries and choose internal ID under the reference type. Click done and next and then you have the import map name. So just type in name for the file. 
and click Save and Run. And you see the green box after you successfully upload it. And then we click the hyperlink for the import job status to see if the record successfully uploaded. And you can see here one of one record successfully uploaded. And you're done.